OK, boys, I've already spoken to you both. You know what I expect. Stay professional, obey my commands, and most of all, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both, boys. Final instructions there from Mike Light and Mark Lyson, who was the third man in the ring on the night Tyson Fury beat Dillian White. So Britain's young boxer of the year, Hamza Shiraz, top of the bill for the first time in his highly promising career and set for what should be his toughest test so far, fighting the crafty Argentine Francisco Emmanuel Torres from Buenos Aires. Both fighters should be full of confidence based on how things are going. Shiraz has stopped his last nine, while Torres hasn't lost any of his last ten. Yeah, it was a great punch. Lead hand, just got to compose himself now. Set up the attack behind that lead hand again, that jab. It's a simple punch, that straight shot to set himself up. But yeah, mistake from Torres. Hands are too low, comes in, gets caught. Sensible approach as well. Oh, great shelter. Right hand, great shot. And another one. Really good round this for Hansa Shiraz. That one taken on the gloves by Torres. <laughs> Torres looking to try and land a shot of his own to the body of Hamza Shiraz. Final few seconds of the second round here. A round that's been a good one for Hamza Shiraz. And there's the bell. Well, he comes forward with a low hand, doesn't he? There it is there. Low hands is just a short left hand left jab if you like have a look at it here what's this there it is there just over the top of his right hand with a with a lovely jab straight left the cracking shot but torres making lots of mistakes shiraz who's been nice and crisp and accurate so far and he certainly knows now that he's got the power early on here the trouble torres i think ricky funes would like him to be oh, there. Oh, yeah. and he's put him down with a left jab well, it was a jab in the previous round that had him wobbling. That one was like a piston right into the face. Tremendous. And Francisco Emmanuel Torres, and down he went. Basic boxing. Simple jab. Nice, sharp, powerful, crisp and accurate, hitting the target. Oh. Down goes Shiraz. Well, there's a flash knockdown. Left hand over the top. And both of them have been down in the third round. Unbelievable. With a little bit of complacency there, coming in thinking he's going to finish the job off, walks onto a shot. Now we're in a fight. Let's see what that does then to the confidence of the Argentine. Chiraz down on the canvas, having had Torres down only seconds earlier. With a little reminder that he can't just come charging in. There's the punch. That's how you respond to it. Down for the first time in his career. Jasiraz has picked himself up, and down goes Torres again. The third knockdown in the third round. And now Hamza Shiraz might just sense the finish, but he's got to keep his own guard up as well, based on what happened last time. He doesn't want to be making the same mistakes. Chopping right hand again from Shiraz. Better stuff. Senses the finish here, Fletch. Shiraz looking to pick the perfect punch. Ricky Funes, his trainer, beckoning him in. He wants him to finish it here. It's been one of those rounds when you're a young fighter and you go down onto the canvas for the first time in your career, you've got a question about yourself to answer, and he answered it emphatically with his response by putting Torres back down again. Look at this. Some jab, this. Yeah, tremendous work here with the jab. Just a straight jab, here it comes. There it is there. Simple boxing at range. Lovely jab. Let's have a look. There it is there. But then he gets a little bit complacent, so he moves in. Just walks onto a shot, doesn't he? So he's trying to land the right hand himself. Gets caught with a punch, a bit of a flash knockdown. And then chopping right hand, that was the third knockdown. How do we score that? 
Despite the fact that Torres has been down, he's still alive. The pole is in there. And that's a better right hand there. They want to apply the pressure. Shearer's looking to set it up with a right hand and down he goes. What a punch. Perfectly timed. Nothing Torres can do. Beats the count, but you wonder how much he's got left. He timed that brilliantly, and that's it. Mark Lyson stops it. And Hamza Shiraz wins the WBC silver middleweight title with an explosive knockout of Francisco Emmanuel Torres here at the Copper Box. So here we see Torres just drifted on the ropes, and that was the punch there. What a belting shot, just moves off to his left. Look, look how low his lead hand is, and gets caught with that chopping right hand. Cracker, let's have a look at it here. There it was there, perfect punch from Shiraz. Great power, great technique, and yeah, they're well pleased. Hamza Shiraz hoisted into the air, set up behind that double left jab, a left jab that worked so well for him all the way through the fight, and a, a right-hand power shot that Torres could do absolutely nothing about. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 56 seconds of round number five. Our referee in charge, Mark Lyson, waves it off. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and now the WBC silver middleweight champion, Hamza Shiraz.